Welcome back to another video. This Friday I'm gonna be painting a little cat skull in black paper with wash. I thought it would be great if I could tell you a bit about wash and a few tricks I've learned to have a better experience at working with it. So let's dive in! So first of all, a very important thing when you're working with wash is being careful with the consistency it has. So if you want to work with a normal kind of wash, I'm, in all this video I'm going to be talking about normal wash, not acrylic wash, not anything similar, just normal wash, so just take that into account. Side note. The consistency is very important, so you probably will have to mix some water into the painting to make it a bit more fluid because it tends to be a bit dry sometimes and you need to add a bit of water until you see the consistency is good. This is very easy to watch, I mean as soon as you work with wash, I think the first time I worked with wash I realized which was the mainly good consistency. It doesn't need to be exactly perfect but you will realize that if you add too much water it becomes too watery. This can help in some techniques obviously but I'm talking to work with normal opaque wash, you have to add a bit of water, not too much, until you see that the brush moves perfectly and the brush strokes are nice in the palette. I mean you try the brush in the palette and you'll see that it has a good consistency. And then another thing is be careful with the color you want because usually the color changes with this kind of wash when it dries. And I guess this depends on the brand. So that's why I'm recommending you to try on a sheet of paper. Have a sheet of paper on the side and try it on always because when it dries, it, sometimes it gets darker, sometimes it gets lighter, but you have to take that into account. Sometimes it changes a lot what you want. So that makes a very important point in this, in working with wash. At least the first times, when you work with wash a few times, you'll realize that this is something kind of basic because you get used to it, but in the beginning it's very important. Also, as wash is a medium that you can re-wet, so if you're working with layers, take into account that if you're applying a wet layer on top of another, sometimes it mixes and sometimes it creates weird effects. So this can be good and this can be bad. So just try it on first try on what you want to do because sometimes when you add maybe a layer that is too watery over one that's just the consistency is right sometimes it kind of gets weird the look on that bit of the painting so take that into account it's a medium that when it dries it can get wet again i mean you can wet it again and work with it again this can be good but this can be bad too if you don't know how to manage it but this has a very good side, which is you can rewet the colors in your palette. So if you have some scraps of the colors you might want to use again, don't just scrap them out or wash them out because you can use them again in the future. You just have to rewet them. Usually, if you have very little paint, it will become too watery, but it can give you cool effects if you want to give a consistent wash over the whole piece or something like that. That's a cool point of it. It's also very easy to wash off, you just need warm water or water and some soap and it will wash off your palette very well. Take into account that wash has very vibrant colors because the color it kind of has a chalky look but it, you can create very bright colors with it and I think this is good because it leads you to experiment with different colors that you might not use with other mediums. For example, for me, I kind of use it to use very bright colors, very vivid colors. Uh, a thing that usually I don't do that much, well I'm trying to do it lately, but I don't usually do it that much and now with wash I can do it. I can do like very bright greens and very bright um, pinks and things like that and it's very, it has very cool effects in the paintings. So don't be afraid of those weird bright colors because I think with the wash they have a very cool effect. If not, you can you can check out the art of Audre Claire and you will see how cool wash can be when you use it in bright colors. So another thing, last thing I want to mention is that 
When you're mixing colors, this can be applied to anything, but when you're mixing colors, try to be a bit experimental. So for example, I only have five colors, I only have the three primary colors in black and white, and I can do a tremendous range of colors, any color I want, basically. So you have to be creative with mixing. Sometimes if you want a brighter green, don't add white, just try to add yellow, for example, and you will see that the color becomes much more vibrant and sometimes you can get a richer color by doing that. I'm not saying by any means you can't do that, you can do both and it depends on the thing you want to achieve, but if you want to try and get different kind of colors and things, experiment with mixing. It's, it can be very fun and it can teach you a lot of color theory by yourself just by experimenting. So. That was some of my basic tips with wash. If you haven't worked with them before, this might help you. And if you have, maybe this will give you some ideas. I don't know. Working with wash with color paper is very cool. So I would highly recommend if you have um, black paper or something. It can be even, I think it can even be a black cardboard. It looks very cool when you work on it with wash. It creates very cool contrast as I think this piece is way much cooler just because it's on black paper so i hope you enjoyed this little video i hope you enjoyed the little painting i'm creating it was so much fun to work with this bright palette i'm thinking about doing a little series of skull paintings with black paper to experiment a bit more with my wash skills and i think it could be fun so let me know if you have any doubts about wash maybe i can talk a bit more about it in the next videos and that's all so i hope you enjoyed this little video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on tuesday Bye!